It's time to rip up the playbook. The old business maps don't work anymore. With everything changing, you have an opportunity to redefine what leadership truly means. Leadership is more than strategies and KPIs. It's about a deep soul level transformation. It's about harnessing your inner strength and wisdom to forge a path that's authentically yours. Today, I want to help you break down the barriers and rebuild your leadership identity from the ground up. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I'm going to unpack six actionable steps that you can take right now to reinvent the new you. The first thing I want you to do is to face the man in the mirror. I want you to look back at your leadership journey with unflinching honesty. This isn't about patting yourself on the back for past victories. And it's not about dwelling on what you could have done differently. It's about understanding and owning every part of your journey. What strengths have you leveraged? Where have you stumbled? Dig deep beyond the surface level achievements and confront the core of your leadership style. This confrontation is the first step towards meaningful change. Next, I want you to create a leadership vision that's so intensely personal that it resonates with every fiber of your being. What legacy do you want to leave? What impact do you want to make? How do you want to be remembered by your team? See, this vision should align with your deepest values and passions. It's not just a statement or words on a paper. It's a declaration of your leadership intent, a manifesto that guides every decision you're going to make, every relationship you're going to nurture, and every challenge you're going to embrace. Now, after that, I want you to get scrappy. I want you to seek out leaders who have weathered the storm and and emerged wiser. These are the mentors who can provide invaluable insights, not quotes from textbooks. Analyze their journey, understand the context of their decisions, and learn from their resilience. Remember, though, that their path is not yours, so you want to learn from them. Your journey is unique, and their, and their wisdom is, a, is almost like a lantern, not a roadmap. Leadership today demands, in my opinion, a dynamic blend of skills. I want you to identify areas where you're lacking. It could be technical know-how, emotional intelligence, or strategic team. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I want you to actively seek out opportunities for, the, for those areas of growth. Attend workshops, read as much as you can, and engage in new experiences. Set specific goals for acquiring these skills. This isn't just about adding to your resume. It's about becoming more more rounded, more grounded, and a a more effective leader. Remember, you're, you're as strong as a tribe you surround yourself with. The company you keep shapes the leader you want to become. So you got to build a network of individuals who aren't afraid to challenge your ideas and support your growth. This tribe should consist of mentors who guide you, peers who walk beside you, and critics who are willing to keep you grounded. You gotta cultivate relationships that are not just professionally beneficial, but also spiritually nourishing. Your tribe should be a source of strength, inspiration, and honest feedback. See, transformation is not just like some conceptual concept. It's practical and actionable. Start by applying the insights and skills you've gathered. Make small yet like impactful changes in your leadership approach. Maybe it's a new way that you want to practice handling a meeting. Maybe maybe it's a different approach to getting team feedback. Or maybe you want to try something different to, 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 get, to drive inclusive decision making. It doesn't really matter. But I want you to monitor the changes you're making. I want you to gather feedback and make adjustments. Remember, truth growth doesn't happen outside your comfort zone. I just gave you six actionable steps to jumpstart the new you. This isn't some long, boring leadership guide I did, that, I, that I layered in. right? And I didn't layer a bunch of bullshit. I just gave you what you needed to get started. Trust me when I say this, that this process is ongoing. It's demanding and it's also rewarding. You gotta stay committed to it, right? You gotta remain open to it and you gotta align your leadership values with your true self. The business world doesn't need just typical leaders. It needs leaders who are authentic, right? Leaders who are unapologetic and leaders who are spiritually themselves. Be that leader. Today is a new beginning. I'm creating an invitation for you to become, to create the new you. You have an opportunity right here, right now, to become the leader that you truly want to be. If you want to get out of the weeds, you want to get your team to step up, and you want to become the leader that others want to follow, I invite you to join our community. We are here to help you right, navigate change, overcome obstacles, and redefine what's possible. We're in the trenches together, sharing strategies, helping one another, 
champion growth for ourselves, our team, and our business. I include a link in the description if you want to surround yourself with other like-minded growth champions who want to make a meaningful difference. If you like what I shared today, do me a favor, give it a, th a thumbs up, drop a comment below related to your business, and of course, subscribe, because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away. We'll talk to you soon.